good afternoon. Um, today I'm going to be painting with some bolter colors, something that looked perfect for spring. So I have these four colors, Rowan, Mums, Thyme, and Dog Rose made these colors. So I'm thinking um, a couple bigger florals, some tiny ones around it. I'm in my sketchbook today. I'm gonna start with Rowan. This beautiful creamy peach color. And I'm gonna make a couple, couple petals here with my Princeton Neptune eight. Trying to paint them so they're on an angle. A little bit there. And one more. So those are the main florals for this piece. Thinking about adding some ink afterwards as well. So I'm gonna switch over to my round two for some tiny uh, blue florals. Thinking maybe a little branch of them. So these are just a couple petals, and then I'll add in some greenery, connect them. So they don't look like flowers yet. more over here. some down here. Just a few. Okay, while well, some of that is still wet, I'll add in some dog rose. Such a pretty green. That is exactly what I was looking for.
I could do a whole piece just with those two colors, that blue and green. They mix so well together. The last color I wanted to add in was this beautiful, almost yellow ochre color made from mums. These will look really cute with some ink. I'm just about done adding watercolor to this. Maybe a few more leaves here. Somewhere in here, maybe. Thank you, Anna. This palette is just so perfect for spring. It's a combination of a few bolder color releases so if she doesn't have them all in one I've accumulated a lot over the years the blue and peach yeah they are very pretty together Marianne um, I really can't wait to see what this looks like with some ink on it and thank you, Anna. Yes, I'm ready for some new nails, but these are, these are hanging in there another week. Um, all right. I think maybe some more greenery here, and then I will call this one done. Erin, hello. <laughs> um, where is my moth? I have my moth. I'm gonna show it. So just give me one second, because it's it's really close by. So 
I, since you're here, I just have to do this. Okay. So Erin High Crafting um, was giving us a peek of her. It's an embroidery kit now, right? I don't know if you were just doing it before um, to show us, but it's an equal equal moth, equinox moth. <laughs> Just, this is what inspired me to paint um, metallics and just a botanical moth pattern that she had that was stunning. A couple different patterns. Um, so I painted this on Wednesday and yeah, still into the soft blues this week. But yes, the soft apricot color Tabitha that is from. Rowan. That's what made that color. So all of these are paints made from plants, from bolder colors. I made a cute little section that here for swatches. Time is what made that blue color. Vernal Equal Moths. Thank you. It's hard to just remember after painting. <laughs> Thank you, Erin. Collection of embroidery patterns. Um, love your work. It's, I tell you all the time, it inspires me to paint. So thanks for watching today. Um, I think tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, after my meeting at work, I will be using these colors. I made a small palette um, of colors from tubes that I had. I was gifted this little travel palette. Um, so I filled them today and I can't wait to paint with them. But these are the colors. They're a mix of my Mary Blue, uh, Windsor Newton. There's one Daniel Smith in there. Mm, I think, I think that's it. I think those are all the brands in there. You see any colors that you think you know what they are. I've used all of these before. Um, yeah, I'll be using them tomorrow. Can't wait. So hopefully I will see you there. But here, one more time, is today's piece. Once it is completely dry, I will be adding a little bit of ink to add some detail. Um, but I do love the look of it right now. Loose and pretty. So I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. See you again soon.